Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. So with PBK DF2 or password based key derivation function two, it salts the password and then it hashes that value over a thousand times that is configurable and it's a slow process. Now it's used in WPA2 to make the brute force attacks more difficult and time consuming. And it was used in TrueCrypt, which encrypt the hard drives, but that's now deprecated. So a non-cryptographic hash it allows for low processing power. So they're both hashes, but this is a lower processing power. It's fast and can be run on most computers. Uh, the negative is that it's easily broken and hashes are supposed to be non-reversible. So examples are Spooky, Bernstein hash, DJB2, Java hash to code, and hash. Password strength. So the number of characters in the password and the range of characters or combinations. So a seven character password is going to take about 11.9 days to crack on 1 million password attempts per second. Um, now on a 10 character password that could take 4,000 years because the results are just exponential as you increase the length of a password. Now with cloud cracking, um, that's referring to this NVIDIA uh, CUDA architecture and using the cloud capabilities such, such as um, Amazon Cloud or Microsoft Azure and their processing powers to be able to distribute the workload across multiple machines to accelerate the attack.